Oh yeah. Oh yeah everybody, what is going on? What is going on? Good evening. Good evening. Happy Tuesday evening. Yeah, hey, we made it online. We made it online. And uh hopefully everything's checking out good here. YouTube's dropping frames and I don't like that to get started. But we'll just keep our eye on it. Hey, it's your boy Epic Vision, and we're getting ready to do what we do best, and that's bringing you another edition of World of Warcraft Classic. Self-found. Hardcore. Hardcore. Self-found. Classic. Hardcore. Self-found. There we go. We got it. Hope you're having a great start to your week. I am, uh, man. Definitely. Thanks for being in the chat. Alan, yo, ho, ho. Why is the rum always gone? Yeah. A lot of, a lot of talk about pirates today, huh? You guys have been paying attention. Blizzard released a new game mode that sits on the retail engine. You don't need to own retail to play it, but you have to be a WoW subscriber and download the retail client and you can play Plunderstorm, Battle Royale, yeah. I was uh, watching Zaryu play it with uh, Peekaboo. They were doing duos and it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. So maybe at some point we'll give that a go. But tonight we're gonna plunder self-found hardcore classic style that's right we're gonna go ahead and jump into Kalimador and um take a look at this guy our level 20 shaman that's right in the last stream we dinged up to level 20 our highest level cell phone hardcore character now we have other regular hardcore characters here but none of these guys are self-found an epic vision sf which stands for cell found has made it up into the top five yeah so what are we going to do? I think what we're going to do is we're going to play it real simple, all right? We're going to do whatever these easy quests are right here at the start of Stone Talon. And we might make it up to that little lake that's there. And by that lake, we might do a little fishing. I don't know if those mobs are too high. If they're too high, we're not going to mess around. We'll go back and do some easy quests in the Barrens. But um, just wanted to get on tonight because I love this video game. And I love all y'all. Thanks for being here. Let's jump in without further ado. And um, if I remember right, I didn't even get to go to the inn last time. I had to... We dinged up and we left. Yeah. We came here and turned this quest in, so I have zero rested experience. Although it shows that I have a little bit of rested experience. How is this possible? Is that just because we didn't fill the bar up enough last time? That's interesting. So we got a little bit of rested experience. All right, so Stone Talon Mountains, this is where we are. These guys are level 18, it says. All right, let's go take a look and see what's going on here. Let's eat, gonna drink. We're laying off the Red Bull and Guava tonight. We're going with some unsweetened iced tea with lemon. Shout out to Mrs. Epic Vision. The, uh, you guys know on Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, we had like the full-on um, St. Patrick's Day meal, which is, you know, your sliced corned beef, cabbage, carrots, um, potatoes. Well, she had bought a couple extra corned beefs. Yesterday we had burritos, and I posted a picture of the finished burrito product out on the Discord, and they were amazing. Tonight, she put another corned beef in the Instapot this time, shredded it, and uh, we made Reuben and... Um, regular sandwiches that look so good it was amazing I thought about trying to take a picture of the inside of it but it just it wouldn't have done it justice so and I didn't take any pictures tonight either probably should have the corned beef turned out absolutely amazing so she's like I got dinner done by seven o'clock tonight everyone's eating I want you to go stream I don't want to hear you crying about it. you can't stream because <laughs> my thing is I like to be on, I have to be on by eight o'clock okay I like to try to go a solid two hours. Ten o'clock, you know, is my hard, soft, my hard, soft deadline. I try to be in bed a little bit after ten on work nights. So, and we're laying off the Red Bull tonight because tomorrow morning, I have my biometrics. So once a year for work, we have to do our biometrics. We don't have to do it, but if you do it, you get some incentive towards your medical premium. So, excuse me, your boy does it. And uh, that requires fasting, so the fast has begun, and 
You can have, you know, black tea, black coffee, water. But no sugar, no creamer, nothing like that. So that's why we're going with that. And uh, we'll be fine. We do it. Had to do it before. We'll do it again. Okay, so we're all the way down here. You're a Red Bull noob. Normally get the OG. When you say Red Bull plus guava, is that a concoction you make? Or is it a specific color? All right, great question. So I was a Red Bull noob too. This boomer only knew about the one kind of Red Bull. Well, let me take that back. Two kinds of Red Bull. You got the Red Bull in the silver can with the dark blue and dark red writing. That was regular Red Bull. Then you could get Red Bull in the silver can that had the light blue and light red writing, and that was sugar-free Red Bull. That's all I knew about Red Bull. And they came in the 8.4 ounce little mini cylinder cans. Okay? My sister-in-law told my wife... You should mix the OG Red Bull with guava. It's guava juice. And I'll, I've actually brought a carton of it down here with me before, but I'll do it again. You guys can take a look at it. And you literally, a cup of ice, half guava. You probably can't see it. Probably still can't really see it that well. But, you know, full ice, guava up to here, Red Bull on the top. And then as you drink it, you just keep adding more Red Bull. And it's really, really good. Yeah, my, uh, my nephew... My godson, who's actually my sister-in-law's son, he uh, he was the one who told me about all the rest of the Red Bull flavors. I had no idea. And we actually, we've tried them all on stream. We had the coconut berry, which is probably, how would I rate them? OG Red Bull and Tropical Red Bull, Tropical in the yellow can, they're at the top, followed by coconut berry Red Bull. Then there's another Red Bull that's like a light blue that looks almost like a Baja Blast. Can't remember what flavor that was. And then there's the dragon fruit one, which I didn't care for. And I thought I had another one too, but I just, I can't remember right now. But look at this, we log right in, ladies and gentlemen. There's a treasure chest just sitting here. I mean, look at this, this is a trap. Is this a trap? Is this a trap? So yeah. All right, gold bar, cheese and milk. Okay. All right, we can make grilled cheese maybe with gold. We can make a golden grilled cheese. All right, we got to kill these mercenaries, and we got to kill the ruffians. So they're level 14s. I feel okay about this. Now your boys might have done these quests one other time, but I don't really quite remember. So, so we're gonna take it easy, play it safe. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking. Yeah, the Red Bull Guava man. Your boys been on a kick. So in order like for me to have energy at night, because I'm really a morning person, I'm an early bird, so to speak, um, I normally would I'd have a coffee at night on stream, right? We'd drink coffee. And um, I don't know, maybe about a month ago, maybe it was a little longer. I was at Costco. You always hear me talk about Costco. You think I'd own stock in that place, but... I was at Costco buying Milton all his food and whatnot, and I seen they had Red Bull there. And I'm like, man, I haven't had Red Bull in like 20 years. Let me buy let me buy this and see if this doesn't give me the gamer fuel I need for the for these late night gaming sessions. And sure enough, man, they've been really good. Yeah, I crave them. So you know you know they're not good for you. <laughs> but man. And she said mix it with the guava. See, the Red Bull can's really small. It's only 8 ounces, so you drink it pretty fast, even if you pour it over ice. But when you're mixing it with the guava, you're almost getting, like, twice as much. Right? It stretches it. So, it, and it tastes so good. Like, my goodness gracious, does it taste good. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is getting a little more squirrely. Did we get two of them? Did it do? Yeah, work, work's been intense this week, but so far, so good. Um, I think, I think, after the next day or two, work's going to be really chill because spring break comes up. And, um, including spring break for your boy here. So as of right now, I have taken off all of next week. Yeah, so after, after Friday, your boy will be on uh, paid time off. So we'll get the weekend in there, Saturday and Sunday, then five working days, and then another Saturday and Sunday. So nine days, theoretically, I won't have to go to the office. And we might even be working from home this Friday. We'll see. We'll see. The big boss has meetings scheduled in the office, so I may need to be there. But we'll see how it goes. 
we'll see how it goes. But yeah, tomorrow's Biometrics, which is Wednesday. And then um, Thursday, I think I'm actually scheduled to work from home on Thursday. But um, I have my annual physical scheduled. And we have on-site medical facilities at our, at our work. And um, my doctor's there, so... And I got enough work to do anyway, so I'm going to go in on Thursday. And then have my physical, and then come back home Thursday. And then hopefully, if we can work from home on Friday, that'll be great. That just means more Warcraft time. Okay, there's sorcerers here. Did you see that? There's a sorcerer here. I saw it light up red. Is she in the tent with this ruffian? Yeah, so what's the sorcerer all about? Probably fireball chuckers. Right? Probably a fireball chucker. Just what we don't want to mess with. All right, so let's um, let's get a big heal here. Go ahead and drink some milk. What's going on, Syntax? Welcome to the chat, baby. Thanks for sending me uh, your picture of dinner. Maybe we should do that. Instead of just posting like our food pics in general, maybe we should make like a food channel or something. People can share their, their delectable delicacies. Or, you know, anything. Anything that they might be enjoying eating wise. Hopefully it's delectable. You know, delicacy. Alright, we need ruffians. This, is, this looks vicious. There's a lot of dudes over here. There's a lot of dudes over here. We need this guy right here. Is this safe to come in here? Is this safe? I hate, number one, that I have to fight my own people. Like, these guys, these guys must be up to something. See why I pulled her back? You see why I pulled her back, huh? Now, is that a four banger there if I pull them? What do we got going on here? There's a ruffian over there. We can go on the outer edge. Yeah, we're going to be selective here. Hope you're doing good, Syntax, man. Hope the family's good. Yeah, Plunderstorm, man. That's the new Warcraft game mode. They say it's going to be a limited time thing don't need to um, buy retail, but you just need to have a WoW subscription. It's open to everybody. And it's uh, it's like a Battle Royale WoW style. Look, It looked pretty cool watching Zaryu and uh, Peekaboo play. I think the game was supposed to be live a lot earlier today than it was. But uh, they ended up, they, they launched it and everything seemed to be stable from when I was uh, gathering. So... Let's get some ruffians that aren't all packed in. See, there ain't nobody here. I don't understand this. So we spawned in. We came down here. We got that treasure chest. And nobody spawned back here yet? Like, I don't know. These guys in chat are talking about We've obviously never done Krom, Krom's amulet yet. Talking about how the drop rates are higher on the Horde side than the Alliance side. <laughs> hey man, we got lucky in the last time. Right, Krom's amulet. Lit on this character, literally the first kill we got it. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't had a chance to make any clips, man. I have not had a chance. I actually started on... Um, was that Sunday? I think on Sunday I was I sat down with my one year old when he was asleep. I actually I knew he was gonna fall asleep. So I got my laptop, I set it up next to the recliner on the TV tray, all ready to go. And I put him to sleep. And normally I gotta hold him, but he was so knocked out I laid him down on our little Elmo bed. So he was good and I started editing clips and I just I couldn't focus. I was too tired too. And uh which ended up being okay because he ended up waking up, so I had to pick him up and hold him. And uh, but I tried, man. I tried. You gotta have a lot of energy to do stuff. I need one more ruffian. That's all we need. Should we just uh, set up base camp here? Look at that. That thing starts sizzling right away. Oh, chucking, what are you chucking daggers at me? Yeah, dagger chucker. Okay. Alright, let's 
get this guy. Ruffian's done. Oh, you gotta turn this in way up here? No, that's Zig Physics. Yeah, we turn this in down here. So. What, is this? what do these guys want? Deep Moss Creepers. Yeah, I don't want to mess with no Deep Moss Creepers, I can tell you that. Wow, so as a horde, you actually kill stuff up here. Look at this. As Alliance, this is where your flight path is, and you don't fight nothing up here. Interesting. Where I wanted to go was right here. By this lake. Coarser eyes. Level 30s. I need 30 of them, but they're level 26s. I don't know how safe it is to run up here. Uh, this is where I wanted to fish, right here. But it might be too much. It might be too much. Alright, let's go turn this in. We gotta go this way down the road. Do, 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 do. We'll hold on to the gold bar. I don't think we're gonna need it for anything. Just these tiger's eyes and malachites, like. We don't need them. Spin up two of these. Have I looked at the Plunderstorm Battle Royale? Yeah. I haven't played it myself, but I watched Azaryu and Peekaboo play it. I mean, it looks kind of fun. It looks kind of fun. In essence, you're playing like you're playing in the Rathi Highlands as a character, and you just you know you pick up your abilities as from treasure chests or from people you kill, and eventually you earn um, you earn what uh, renown, which is like reputation, and you turn that reputation in for items that you can actually use in World of Warcraft. Now they say even in classic Warcraft, but they pair it's like a mount and a pet and some other stuff. Pirate hat or something. But they when they say you can use it in classic WoW, what they mean is Cataclysm or Wrath and then Cataclysm is what you can use them in. You can't use them in what we're playing right now, so which is fine. All right, go back in there and kill more dudes, huh? Do we want to do that? So, you guys know that in the past I've died at level on on self found, right? We've died at 19, we've died at 18. Be sorry if before self found and I play regular hardcore, I died over here right by Zig Physics as a level 18 shaman doing these stupid deep moss spider eggs yeah so I gotta, I'm a little gun shy coming over here yeah plunderstorm battle royale it looks pretty cool and you know what was really awesome is the music the music was really good it sounded like part of the soundtrack to me was from battle for Azeroth when you're in the, you know, the starter city, some of it sounded like that. Some of it sounded all new. So maybe we'll check it out. You can even check it out on stream if you want, man. Like the number of people that were watching that, holy shnikes, man. Zaryu had 10,000 people just on his channel even before the game launched. That's how much people wanted to watch him play it. 10,000 live viewers, man. And people were just subscribing right and left. Which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, what's going on here? So there was a lot of excitement for it. Name your pets. You gotta name your pets. Okay, what is he doing? Is this an, ex an escort? Okay, escort's done, I guess. Da -da -da. We're 
just trying to take it easy. Nice chill stream tonight just to get on, stretch our legs a little bit. Breathe in the wow air, right, from here in Kalamador. You guys ever heard of the Soul Cal Killer? WoW's, WoW's darkest secret? That all takes place here in the Stone Talon Mountains. Yeah, there's a video out there about it. WoW's darkest secret. If you've never watched it, or you don't know anything about it, it is well worth your time to go watch that video. Now, I'm going to preface it by saying, do not, do not, do not read the comments. Just click search for the video. Wow's Darkest Secret, the Soul Cal Killer, and how it ties in to the Stone Talon Mountains. And watch it. Well, the first I watched a video with Mrs. Epic Vision, okay? And it literally made me want to quit playing Warcraft. Because I could not believe. I could not believe what was happening. I couldn't I couldn't believe it. And, uh, yeah. Well, we're still playing WoW. I got past all that. But go watch that video. It's, uh, it's well worth your time. Well worth your time. Don't read the comments. You read the comments, you're gonna do yourself an injustice. Watch the video first. Yeah. Is it, um, Linus from Linus Text Tips? He says he doesn't even watch videos, he just reads comments. He doesn't even watch people's videos, he just goes in and reads their comments. That's his, uh, that's his philosophy on YouTube. But for this particular video, watch the video, it's worth, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. Part of what happened is, is this guy was playing his character here in Stone Talon Mountain. And at random times, his character would just die. It would just die. And, um... He ended up trying to figure out what the deaths meant, depending on where he was, what time he died. Like, randomly died. Like, not killed by a mob or anything, his character would just die. Out here in Stone Talon. And, um... Even just talking about it kind of gives me like the willies. You gotta watch the video. You gotta watch it. Alright, we're at 20 of 20, and this guy's he's gonna give me a quest. Oh, we'll go turn this in. Can we kill these things? They're level 17. Buff up here. You hear how there's no music? Oh, it just kicked in, right? Is the game listening to me? Yeah, this guy's a level 18. Can't block it. So there's nothing you can do. You just gotta eat the spit. You just gotta eat it. How did I die out here when I was level 18? Well, I died just like this. I fought a spider. And I beat the spider. And then I went and opened these eggs. A level 36 warrior just died. Yeah. Then I went and opened these eggs, and two little baby spiders came out, which I didn't know that was going to happen. And I fought them. And after I fought them, a um, big mama matriarch spider spawned. And I was out of mana, out of life, tried running, dropped my totems, she laughed at my totems, and she killed me. Yep. True story. Oh, knew that was coming, huh? Alright. We're gonna have a, a, a 1v2 situation here. It kind of feels that way. Okay, more poison. But your boy has learned cure poison.
chat's wiling out right now. So, do all the apps in chat for the level 36 that just died. Ultimate life right here. No last words. All the apps, right? Zero seven, the salutes. This level eight warrior has the audacity to say all that for a level 36. This guy's like, I didn't realize we were gatekeeping apps now. This guy's like, that was a possible tank for dungeons. Show some respect, it hurts. This guy says, I will F who I want to F. <laughs> That's funny. I was honestly, I was just curious. Calm down. It hurts, man. It hurts. I've died. I mean, dying at level 8 hurts. Imagine being 36 and dying. I can't. I can't. What's up, Zig Physics? Hey, how, you how you doing? Funny, yeah. Go get the Reaper blue blueprints. Yeah, I don't even like doing that on the Alliance side. But it is a quest I'm familiar with. Alright. Jorenzo's orders. Yeah, we did all that for the first time in uh, Season of Discovery. It was a really cool quest. I've never done those before. It was a lot of fun. Or did we do it? I got clips out there about it. It's a clip series. So I never had did the quest before, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Smoking these things. I mean... Oh, so there's Venom Spitters and Creepers. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna keep on rolling here. It's funny, this guy's this guy's looking for more to go run BFD. Ritual Cape of Frozen Wrath. It's gonna be frost damage, yeah, we don't need that. Or when I see when we see BFD now, right in your mind, you're automatically like, man, that's the ten man raid. Yeah, season of discovery. I almost fired up some season of discovery tonight. I did. I did, but man, there's something about this, like can we get to level 30, right? Like, Season of Discovery is a lot of fun. And it's got its own challenges, but it's not a challenge like this. Right? It's not a challenge like this. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with your boy here on Tuesday evening. Hope your uh, hope your work week's going well so far. Blizzard released Plunderstorm today. Yeah, it's a Warcraft-based battle royale. But you don't play your own Warcraft characters. No, you make you make a new character and you jump right in. Yeah, all of your abilities are are out there for the taking, out in the playing field. Okay, so these are the these are the spitters. We're, we've been killing spitters. We're the creepers. Jeepers, creepers. Should we head into Sunrock Retreat? Looks like there's a flight path there. We ran out of time to go there on uh, on Sunday night. We didn't quite make it, but today it looks like. Oh, did I go too high? Did get in. It looks like. I mean, this shows the road is here. In Season of Discovery, you do some stuff right here for the sleeping bag. Yeah. Mrs. Epic Vision tried ordering Girl Scout cookies. You know, I don't know if you know about Girl Scout cookies, but they come around once a year and you place your orders and it helps the Girl Scouts raise money. 
I'm sure there's more to it than that, but... Last year, she just bought them up here from a Girl Scout troop selling them, like, outside of the grocery store. But the cookies weren't the same, right? As what we are used to. So this year, she went back to go buy them from who she was buying them from before. Well, something happened. A mix-up in communication. She placed the order, and then the order couldn't get placed, so she had to replace the order again, and it didn't go through. Whatever. So today, at work in our like uh, amenities room like where the coffee makers are and the vending machine or whatever there's a there's a lady in there working or uh over lunch and she was selling girl scout cookies and she had the whole table just stacked up with all the cookies yeah scan the qr code send me five bucks per box and uh you're on your way i guess she's one of the largest girl scout cookie distributors in the area like i don't know i don't know how all that works but her two girls aren't girl scouts and her and her husband help manage this operation so trouble in the deeps oh this is where you get a bfd quest huh your boy's not ready to do any of this but and the innkeepers here i almost wonder if it's worth setting our hearthstone here just for fun I think maybe we will. I think maybe we will. But yeah, well anyway, I called Mrs. Up Big Vision and told her, hey, they got all these Girl Scout cookies here. Are you interested? Oh yeah, Poppy. Well, which ones do you want? Well, let's put, let's get what we were going to get and then add some. So I came home with six boxes of Girl Scout cookies today. Yeah, six boxes. At six, at $5 a box, $30 with the cookies. It's outrageous, honestly. So, but Mrs. Epic Vision's happy. You know how important that is? It's the most important thing. tired playing this game right now nice relaxing at a nice relaxing pace I'm relaxing like it's a good wind down speaking of corned beef you know who else got a little bit of corned beef tonight Milton yeah I mixed what the one-year-old had left on his crib tray with a bowl of Milton's kibble and he ate his entire bowl the entire bowl of kibble he ate yeah he didn't mess around at all he ate it all I promise you right now is knocked out laying down right now no music again Go watch that video WoW's darkest secret. In fact, let me look it up. WoW's darkest secret. Yeah, this is it. Copy link. It has almost a million views. It's a long video. It's a long video. If you've never seen it, go watch it. I'm telling you, man. Every time the music stops in this zone, I get kind of the willies. Yeah, like, you know, you get that little tingly feeling over your body. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like we made it up to this lake. These guys are 21. Your boy's only 20.
Now, why do we want to come here and fish? Well, the best place to fish sage fish. I'm sure we got a quest to kill those dudes. That guy's 22. There's a spitter, level 18. See this right here? Sage fish school. Already killed all the dudes. We already killed all of these. Do we kill another one? I mean. Is he gonna mess with us? Oh, you wanna sit there and spit? Oh, I can spit too. I can spit lightning though. Yeah. Like, is my lightning more powerful than your spit? I think the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Alright, are we ready here? We don't have any bait. But we went right into the sagefish school here. Got it. Fishing. Nine seven. Only got one fish out of that. WTF, mate. Small venom sack. We need that for anti-venom. Simple buckler offhand. Yeah, we don't need that. Seen Rogue just died. Doesn't say what killed him though. Get closer, maybe. Maybe we do. NCAA men's basketball tournament March Madness started today, right? I think there was a game or two on. Now, why do we want to catch sagefish? Sage fish you can cook. That's one reason. And that dude got close and personal, huh? We have to fight. We're gonna have to fight, folks. Hammer and shield, here we go. Why can't I do that right now? Thunderstomp, and we're gonna get a big heal. So, while you're fishing, you, it won't let you equip until you actually are done with your fishing process. I had no idea. Excuse me. Mission. 
C DNA has reached level 60. Congratulations. That was the applause you might have heard. Whenever somebody hits level 60 on the hardcore servers, Blizzard put it in where you get like a little applause. <clears throat> so my company is working with another company, and this other company sells its markets itself as being concierge quality service, okay? And their service that they provide, I'm not going into specifics on purpose, the service that they provide is very expensive, okay? So far, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, man. We catch them make so many mistakes, and it's easy mistakes. No. Your boy's the king of mistakes, the king of typos, all that, right? Like, but this is different. This is... This is like scheduling and basic emailing and... I got Sam Solo calling me right now. Sure, see what he has to say. Hello? Hello, Sam Solo. Hi, Gideon. What's up, gentlemen? What are my boys up to, huh? Hey, what's dad? What, what's dad doing? Huh, what am I, what am I doing right now? I'm streaming. Are you, are you going to bed? Hey, not so loud. Is that from your phone or his? Mine. Okay, did you brush your teeth? You did already? Yeah, okay. You getting ready for bed? Is mom in there with you? It is time to go to bed. Okay, Papa. I love you. I love you, Gen Gen. I'll check on you later tonight, okay, Papa? Go to bed. Okay. All right, good night, Papa. I love you. Bye. Hang up then. Bye. All right, now it's FaceTime with Sam Solo and Gingen. <laughs> hey, Eric, what's going on, man? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. So my son had like an old iPhone 7 or 8, I think it was. I've told this story before. Why, how come both of my young ones have phones? So they're just media consumption devices. They don't have phone service on them, right? They can FaceTime, they can text mom and myself and their sister and their aunts. And it started when Sam Solo was a little over one years old. He wouldn't sit still to get his diaper changed, so. Here, have an electronic device with Sesame Street on it, right? Well, Sam Solo ended up losing his phone at one point due to him just being sassy. He started throwing his phone, he got mad, so he lost his phone. Probably for like almost two years. You know, it's four and a half now, he probably lost it when he was two and a half. He had his tablet though, so it's not like don't feel bad for him, right? Well, here we are now with with Gingen, our one-year-old, and um, obviously he's had the chronic ear infection issue, the fluid behind his ears, which is now resolved hopefully with the tubes that they just put in a couple weeks ago. But he hated being laid flat, hated it, like he would throw a fit. Well, how are you going to change a kid's diaper if he's not laying on his back, right? Hand him a telephone with uh, YouTube kids on it, right? So that's what we did. Well. So he got a phone, so Sam Solo wanted... Sam Solo actually had two phones. He had he had two old iPhones. So, anyway. We gave Gingen his, Sam Solo got his phone back. Okay? So yes, each of my little boys has a phone and a tablet. Okay, I'm a technologist, what can I say, right? 
so they can they can watch their stuff and play their games and it's better than just sending them to the landfill the devices right recycling the batteries and all that well Sam Solo's phone screen is broken and mom and I Mrs. Epic Vision and myself thought okay what happened here well she Mrs. Epic Vision thought Gingen broke it because he'd be dropping stuff off of his high chair right he's sitting on his high chair and when he's done he tries to hand hand you stuff but if you don't grab it he'll just drop it on the floor which is sassy right so we thought maybe that's how Sam Solo's phone got broken Sam Solo I asked him hey your phone screen's broken what happened buddy I did it dad you did it how did you do it he bit it from having it in his mouth and biting down he cracked the phone screen I don't even know if that's possible that's what this kid told me how he broke his how the phone screen's broken so seems in it seems really impossible doesn't it and uh, because it was an older phone it had a case on it but no screen protector where um, oops I casted instead of catching that instead of clicking on the bomber so I had another old iPhone laying around I think it was also an iPhone 8 and um, I set that up for him tonight. He was really excited. So that's what he just FaceTimed me from. Told him, this phone breaks. Excuse me. We don't have any more spare phones, so take good care of it. We just we just got a watertight trunk. Heavy leather, militant short sword of the tiger, and bolts of woolen cloth. Now this sword, this is this has happened more than once where we've gotten green swords that are actually a really good sword right oh. it would have been really good at level 17 my fish got away but shamans can't use swords shamans can't use swords hey Eric have you ever heard of WoW's darkest secret the video I post it's in chat I don't know if you can actually see it there it's right above you the link is there has to do with Stone Talon Mountains where the zone we're questing in right now if you've never watched it I encourage you to go spend some time and check that video out don't read the comments just watch the video if you read the comments you're gonna do yourself a disservice You've never seen it or don't know what I'm talking about. Watch it. You hear how the music just stopped? In essence, and I was just telling it a little while ago, this guy's playing and the guy who made the video is playing in Stone Talon Mountains, the zone that we're in right now. And as this questing and stuff, just randomly his guy would just die. It, he would just die. And he has the video footage of it. His guy would just die. And um, he did some detective sleuthing and uh, put some clues together about like these random deaths and it is something else. It is something else. It literally made me want to quit playing Warcraft. Yeah. So go watch the video. I'm still playing the game obviously. I've been playing this game for 19 years and I absolutely love it but it's out there man <clears throat> alright so our fishing's up to 101 we're catching sage fish here alright they say this is the best place in the game to catch sage fish it's a very popular spot during phase 1 of season of discovery I actually never made it out here um, Blood, who hasn't been in the chat in a while, Blood, I hope you're doing good, buddy. Shout out to you, my friend. Um, he said this was the place to come to fish for some sage fish. So, it helps with our, obviously, our getting our fishing skill up. But, um, it's also good stuff to cook and eat. <clears throat> Saw Barry was back on. Shout out to Barry Law, my boy. CC, she was in chat the other day. So we're gonna get the sod crew, the season of discovery crew back together. Fish 
Fish got away again. Come on, Blizzard. I'm trying to get it like right in that pool. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Got it. We're up to eight of those. Got a catfish boy. Now we have to buy the recipe to cook these, but we will. This is what we're doing tonight. We got an easy quest out of the way. We're going to do a little bit of fishing. We're just chilling, man. We're just hanging out. We're just talking, chatting, vibing, relaxing, having fun. No, your boy's tired. Did you know? Did you know that there's some fish in the game that are seasonal? But you can only catch them during certain seasons of the calendar year? Yeah, that's true. There's that big lizard right there, and I don't want to mess with him. That's kind of like what we're doing here. There we go. Yeah, there's seasonal fish in the game. Why well, is that important? Because I think the seasonal fish make, they make for seasonal, you either need them for like alchemy or you need them for like a particular um, cooking recipes. Excuse me. I want to say they're called winter squid. Something like that. Yeah. It's a real and true thing. I had a manager, actually when I first started working where I am, so back in like 2008, and uh, he was an older guy, he could have retired, but um, I understood his story right, he actually was in business for himself for many, many years, and uh, he just got bored, so he, he came to manage the, he came to manage the help desk team that was on. And uh, he had a long beard, right? A long beard, like really long. And he'd always, you know, we'd always have, back then you had to dress up for work. So long sleeve shirt, button down collar, dress pants. Uh oh, uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a level 23. Will it come in the water? It will not come in the water, but that is a level 23 beast coming after your boy, a sap beast. Anybody know anything about that? I know it's three levels higher than me. It's got more hit points than me. Okay, there it goes. Alright, well, we're on his neck of the woods. And, um... This guy's story was, right, he wanted to turn us into a world-class... A world-class help desk. That was always his vision. And that's actually been fulfilled over the past, like, what are we on, 20, 24 now? It's been fulfilled over the past, you know, 10, 15 years. And, um... He ended up not being the manager after too much time. He was a smoker. And, um... The, you, you know, you can't obviously smoke in buildings anymore, right? And they had a smoking area outside. It actually was a built-in, it was an enclosure for smokers, but it was outside. And um, that's where they encouraged anybody who needed to take a smoke break to go. So, so he would go smoke a cigarette like every hour, every other hour, whatever. And he had a co-manager and a new director. And the co-manager and the director really didn't like him. I don't know what the whole story was. Long story short, this guy, he ended up losing his job for the number of smoke breaks he took, okay? They had all of his badge in, badge out entries and proved that he didn't work the required number of hours in a given day over a certain amount of time. 
even though I'm sure he worked from home and all that, right? But he didn't have that. Even the, and he was salaried, but he didn't have that that punch clock time in. So anyway, I say all that to say that say this. This guy had this massive beard, and he would just sit there, and he would like stroke it and pet it, you know. And every time I catch myself doing it, and I do it a lot, I think of him. Because people would comment like, man, that guy's always just like stroking his beard all the time. And it's just like a, it's just like a nervous tick, right? Or I don't even know if that's the right word. But everyone does it, you know, they tap their, I shouldn't say everybody does it, but it's a mannerism, you know? So that's what I, that's what I was just thinking about as I was sitting here caressing my beard. <laughs> my former manager. Yeah, he was a cool guy, man. He really was. To me, it seemed like he might have got the short end of the, of the deal, but... Yeah. He gave me my chance, you know? He actually... And because of the, rela the relationship I had with him, I was able to get my... my current manager the job when he had no IT experience. Yeah. And my current manager, man, he's... He's a superstar, man. He, uh, his... Has risen to the top. So. He gave him a shot just based on my recommendation. So. Yep, yep. Cool stuff, right? It's amazing, like, what triggers memories. You know, certain sights, certain sounds, certain feels, right? Memory's an interesting thing. Do, 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 do. Thanks for hanging out and chat, everybody. Happy Tuesday night. I know we're kind of... We're just chilling, man. We're fishing. Appreciate people popping in, leaving comments, popping out. Giving me those... Giving me that thumbs up. Fish got away. It's really cold this week. Oh yes, happy first day of spring. The first day of spring, and I think it's actually like at 10 o'clock, like within an hour. In an hour, no matter where you are in the northern hemisphere, I think spring kicks in. I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. But, um... But yeah, Mother Nature wanted to remind us that winter's not over. Because yesterday, very cold. Today, it was supposed to be almost like 15, 16 de degrees warmer. Very cold. The rest of the week, it's going to be in the low to mid-30s. With the potential of up to five inches of snow on Friday. That's right, five inches of snow on Friday in the spring here. Yeah, it's... Hey. It can snow in March. It can snow in April. I remember. I remember. We were getting ready to leave um, to Puerto Rico. You remember 14 inches of snow or whatever in April 2007? Yeah, man. Yep. Yep. That's, a, that's what I was actually going to just talk about. We we're getting ready to leave to uh, head to the Caribbean. We we're actually going to Puerto Rico. And uh, the day we left, man, just dumped snow. Yeah. The nice thing about, the nice thing about it, if it does snow this late in the year, or this late into the season, into the spring season, is that it melts pretty fast, right? It won't stick around for long. But, uh... Yeah, why am I still fishing here if there's no pool? This guy's fishing. He's fishing in my pool. Hey. Hey. Blade Wah. Blade Waha. Fishing in my pool. Let's we'll see if there's more. Another pool over here. Yep. Yeah, so back to the... Back to the fleeces and all that. Which is okay. One more week of wearing fleeces, I don't mind. 
keep that winter wardrobe alive <laughs> a little while longer. Excuse me, that guy could have fished out the pools. It's like fishing in real life, right? You'd be out there on the lake all by yourself, and all of a sudden, you got the whole lake. Why do you gotta be fishing right next to me for? Right? Why do you gotta be fishing right next to me? Yeah, it's like the law of attraction, right? He missed it. He missed it. The cell phone champion. I feel like I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. That's how I feel. I gotta remember biometrics tomorrow, so I can't. Um, there's a pool. Oh, by the sap beast over here. I mean, should we try to take him out? Level 20 versus a 23? Like, I don't know what kind of tricks he has. It feels dangerous though, right? Does it feel dangerous? I mean, we can just run back into the water. That was our kind of our saving grace right there. Let's go ahead and, uh... What do we got here? Rumsey, Rum Dark, and Raptor Punch. That's 5 for 5 minutes. This is 10 for 15 minutes. <clears throat> I think maybe we'll go up to 5. Here it is. Alright, so we set up base camp. Alright, we'll do this. And this. And then... We're gonna pull him back. Resisted. Huh? Okay, we can't go back too far because we want the totem to keep hitting him. Does not look good though, does it? Like, we're neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. We're neck and neck here. What does this give me? Okay, we're drinking a pot. We're drinking a pot. Could I have beat him without that pot? I don't know. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. But we're alive and well. Let's go ahead and uh, cast into the water here. We did it, though. We did it, right? <coughs> He hit me with some kind of curse deal up here. Five strength, six... Also, reduce strength by six and agility by six and stamina by three. That's a heck of a debuff. Yeah, that's pretty vicious. Oops. That was it, huh? All of that for that? Razor main Geomancer, level 13. Yeah, those Geomancers, man, they're straight fireball truckers. They'll be chucking them fireballs at you. Alright. Yeah, there's some, looks like two sagefish schools up here. Just one. Let's skin this dude. Fishing we will go, a fishing we will go. 
Hi ho the Dario. Sam Solo had uh, a gentleman come into their classroom today. And uh, he brought animals in. He brought in snakes and turtles and mice. Yeah, I guess they learned all a bunch of stuff about those animals. Frogs, different kinds of frogs. They combined some of the other K4 classes together. So he could do his presentation and read stories and they did puppets and... I don't know. Sound like it was a fun school day for him. He didn't quite have the courage to um, hold the snakes or touch the frogs, but some of his classmates did. And um, his teacher, she sends, she usually she writes up a nice email synap synopsis of what you know the kids did throughout the day. And uh, she almost always sends pictures, and so she sent a lot of pictures today. It was pretty cool. He was nervous about going to school today. He was nervous about it. And I think it has to do with, he asked me a question. And this was probably months back about animals. I said, Dad, do all animals bite? I said, yeah, son, all animals do bite. So I think maybe he had, I should have clarified that, you know, all animals have to bite to eat, right? Or something along those lines versus all animals are going to bite you. I think that's what he was thinking. So that's why he didn't want to touch none of them. Yeah. Hey, man, we're not perfect. It's hard. It, parenting kids is hard, man. It's hard. <clears throat> But at dinner, we try to have we try to make dinner be family time, right? And I know not a lot of people can sit around the dinner table with their families for different reasons, scheduling and whatnot, but we try. And then we try to tell each other about our days. And that's something that Sam Solo really likes to do, so it was cool tonight that he wanted to tell us about that. Come on, Bobber. Come on. How's it that my fish got away? Huh? My pee's gone. Well, that's two in a row it got away. Looking for two more whaling caverns. Need tank and heels. Man. We still got to get a WC and a VC under our belt here. WC for Whaling Caverns, VC for Van Cleef, the boss of the Dead Mines. Whaling Caverns in Hardcore sounds scary. Yeah, we're gonna do it though. We're gonna do it, man. We've we've run Whaling Caverns successfully in Hardcore more than once. Um, But I've also died in Whaling Caverns in Hardcore. Not in the instance. Not in the instance. But, you know, before Whaling Caverns, it's actually a big cavern. And all the mobs in there are elite. They're all elite. And, um, why were we in there killing elite mobs in Hardcore? Well, for this, I'll show you here. <clears throat> to make well not necessarily for the deviate scale gloves 
It's actually, f or the Deviant Scale Cloak. Although both of these things would be actually pretty good. Uh, the cloak, not as good. The hands, the hands would be a nice upgrade. Plus three stamina. But in order to get those perfect deviate scales, you gotta kill those anything in there that's deviate and skin them. And they're elite, so we're in there. What we really wanna make is the deviate scale belt. Do I have that recipe too? It's a nice blue belt. <laughs> the quest requires deviate scales in order to, um,. Shot at. Really? Well, here's what's interesting to me. Did you see how when he was shooting at me, his life was going down? Did you notice that? Why? Why is that? Here, watch. Let's, let's go up there. I noticed it on the last one that was shooting at me. I noticed it on the last one. Why does their life go down? Okay. Look at that. And it, it's not because the totem's hitting him. His life went down. Just it just went down to go down. Now watch that back. You'll see. It's weird. I don't get it. The tree hugger kid, slick stream, my man. What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the chat. Thank you, man. We're just chilling. We're fishing, man. Doing a little bit of fishing. And, uh... We're just relaxing. Priest has some kind of ability like that. Sacrifice HP for DPS. Maybe. I know that the Warlock, you can sacrifice life for mana. Life tap. So maybe, maybe it's something like that on that mob. Well, that was it for that pool. Speaking of Warlocks dying died to a deep moss web spinner here in the Stone Talon Mountains. So he died around here somewhere. Thought I could show you where. It actually gives you the, lo the coordinates. 0 0.75, 0 0.43, what the heck kind of coordinate is that? How do you get just 0.75? I don't know. He died around here. Let's keep it going here. Let's go a little bit longer. I wanted to hit get like 125 fishing. Like I wanted to uh, get it up there. We're actually we're doing pretty good. We're at 109. Can't be mad about that at all. all right, let's keep catching these sage fish, and we're gonna cook them up. Get our MP5 food. Mana per five seconds. That's all your mana. Your mana replenishes every five seconds when you're out of combat. That's what MP5 stands for. And spirit... Okay, your spirit... Like this spirit right here? It increases that. So the more spirit you have... Okay? Spirit's kind of a left a, a slept-on stat, right? Could really use some more stuff and something to drink. Back in retail, didn't they get rid of spirit? I don't think spirit's even a stat in retail anymore. They built in spirit to the rest of the stats or something like that. But spirit, yeah. It... I know like your druid really depends on spirit. Spirit, man, spirit is all about getting your mana back faster. Life and mana, but really it's for mana. Like your priest ability, spirit tap. It's part of the things that makes leveling a priest so fast. Like, you get, you put your five points in the spirit tap right away, man. Every mob you kill, you're generating that mana back. Like, you have zero downtime. 
priests are really overpowered. Honestly. Yeah, priests are overpowered, man. I like priests a lot. In fact, in fact, I've said as such, I think that when we go back to Season of Discovery, we're leveling our priest. Yeah, we're going to level the priest. That's what we're going to do. And um, that's going to be soon. I almost did it tonight. I almost did it tonight, but it takes... Um, it would have taken me a little more effort than it would have been just to rename my titles like I did tonight. A, a watertight trunk. Oh, please let there be something good in here, Blizzard. Please, please, I'm letting it cook. One, two, three, four, five. Hillman's belt, leatherworking. Teaches you how to craft a Hillman's belt. A four stamina, four spirit belt. Except it takes an elixir of wisdom, which we're never going to get. We're never going to get an elixir of wisdom. And some baller healing potions. Yeah, the big boys. Check it out. Nice. Yeah. Unless somehow... Like, we get an elix elixir of wisdom from... A treasure chest or a quest reward? I don't know where else you'd get it from. Like, I understand an alchemist makes them. Unless there's a vendor that sells them. I mean... We're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. That's a pretty cool thing that we just got there. So I found I can't trade. Can't use the mailbox or the auction house. And I'm a Skinner leather worker. I'm not an alchemist. We just opened up Atlas loot. We're gonna go crafting alchemy. Elixir of Wisdom. Takes Mage Royale, two Briarthorn, and Empty Vial. getting that <clears throat> at least not until level 60 <laughs> and by then that belt will do us little good I guess you never know right looking for one more RFC need DPS I mean I could definitely DPS RFC should I want to tired and I almost just dozed off there and the last time we were in the state where we dozed off and we kept playing we died first time ever I died due to like falling asleep right so tonight we're not gonna let that happen okay I'm not letting that happen we're gonna go ahead and stone back and uh, I think that's gonna be it man what do we get about an hour and a half yeah about an hour and a half stream not so bad not so bad for a work night, right? We're up late doing what we do. All right, innkeeper. Want to browse your goods? I mean, I want to browse your goods. <laughs> it's a bummer we got to sell this sword, huh? And the strangle kelp too. Like, I just there's nothing we can do with it. Got a bunch of fish though, and that's awesome. That's really cool. I think that's it. I think we're we're golden there. Bags are emptied. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Well, everybody. Hey, go check out Plunderstorm. If you got a WoW sub, go download the retail client and just log in and just mess around and play. It's actually not in retail, but you need the retail client in order to play it. Just need your WoW subscription. You don't need to actually buy the retail game. It looks like a lot of fun. Maybe if people want to see it on stream, I don't know. I'd be willing to uh, to check it out. And it looks like you can play duos and maybe even trios, right? You can queue up with uh, a buddy or two, a guildie or two, maybe somebody who's in chat wants to do it. We could try. I'm not opposed to it. Not opposed to it at all. But hey, like I always say, be good, be kind. Hey, and have fun. And until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great night, everybody. Peace. See ya.